this week's What and Webflow linking to a tab from another page. Let's jump into it. So now we're in our Webflow project and what we're going to learn today is how to open a tab on another page as well as have the user scroll to that tab section automatically. So you'll find in the description the custom code that we'll need to do this. And you'll add this custom code before the end of your body tag and it's this custom code here and you'll notice within this custom code that there is a parameter that it grabs called tab and we'll learn out learn why. All right, so in our project, there's a little bit of setup that we have to do. So on our home page, you'll see here that there's uh, four items or four tabs. Uh, the only tab on our home page that has any type of content is the popular tab. And we also have a share page. And on that share page, the only tab that has any content is the most shared tab. So what we want to do is have that content within those tabs a link to one another and have those sections automatically open. So let's go to our home page. So we'll go to our popular tab and this is the content within the popular tab. And here we'll find the link. In order for this tab section to be linkable from the other page, we have to give it a, an additional class name. So the original class name for all the tabs is just tab. So all tabs must have a tab name of tab. But then to have it linked, we have to give this one a specific one and we name this one popular. And to scroll to this section, we have to give this section an ID and this ID name is popular-tab-section. And we'll do this also to the share page. So on the share page, we have given our share tab a special uh, class name of shared. And we have given this section here an ID name of shared-tab-section. All right, so now let's jump back to our home page. So you'll see here this link, we want to have when a user clicks on this link, it takes them to the share page. Let's see what it currently does. So a regular link like these, when you click on them, it just takes you to the share page. The, as you can see here, the most shared tab is not even opened. If I click on the popular link, it takes me to the home page that has the popular tab but the popular tab is not even open. So there's some parameters that we need to put into our link. You'll see here that within our URL parameters, we have the share page that we want to link to. So it's forward slash share. And here you will see right after this question mark, the parameters so that it opens that tab. And that parameter is tab equals shared. And then to have the user scroll to that section, we'll use the ID name of share-tab-section. And we'll do the same to the share page. So we'll click on our popular link. And then you'll see here that because we're going back to the home page, there's no page that needs to be identified. So we have forward slash question mark tab equals popular so it's going to go to the home page and open the popular tab and then we want it to scroll to that popular dash tab dash section all right so because this is custom code in webflow you'll only see this once it's published so let's publish our site All right, so now we're on the live site. So as you can see here on the home page, we are under the newest tab. The newest tab is set as the current tab for both pages. So if I click on most shared, you can see here that the newest tab is set 
is the current tab. All right, so now we're on our popular page. Let's check out our popular and let's check out what our custom code does. So we click on share page. It automatically opens the share link on the share page and it takes the user to that shared section. Now let's click on our popular link. It goes back to the home page and has the popular tab automatically opened and has the user scroll to that section. Pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. This custom code is best used whenever you have a tab that you want to have automatically open and the user scroll to that section whenever they click on that link. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I'll be happy to help. And also, join in on the forum at forum.webflow.com. I'd love to hear from you. Have a great one.